This is Chad with the iPhone blog and today I'm going to take a look at a mind mapping app called MindNote. Uh, this is a pretty cool app. Actually, this is one I was playing with earlier, so let's delete that. Uh, if you start off with uh, a canvas and you can go back and, and list all of your mind maps. You can create a new one. And a mind map is really kind of a way of uh, brainstorming. So you can see here, it's just called mind map. And it says right here to click this plus sign and drag to create a new one. So think of it as like branching ideas. So boom, I brought it out. And uh, this, this is a tree. Okay, whoops, if I can type tree. There we go. And I can hide the keyboard. And then I can tap on wherever I get a plus sign, I can make another one and call this wood. And I can tap this and bring out another one and call this grass. Now if I want to rename something, I'll maybe tap this here, and double tap, and I'll call this uh, backyard, because maybe I'm listing all the related components in my backyard, and I can zoom in to make this a little bit bigger, of course, or zoom out. Now once I have this wood, I get another plus sign, so that means I can branch this out into something else and call it a hard wood. And uh, if I go back here, I can branch it out and call this one soft wood. All right. And, uh, you know, you can move it around. It's pretty, pretty straightforward. And if you tap and hold, you can actually reposition them. So I'll take like this tree, tap and hold it, move it over there. And of course, uh, this one I might call uh, a maple. And I'll take it and position it up here. I'll go to tree and call this uh, an oak. All right. Break it out here. Now, if for whatever reason, let's say I didn't like this, uh, this teal color on the grass, I can go up to I here for information, change the title, or I can go over here to color and change it to a different color. And if I don't like any of those colors, I can go to a color wheel here and pick whatever color I want. So maybe I wanted a dark blue. You can see it changed it instantly, which is pretty nice. I can also, uh, tap over here and I can see a listing of all the nodes so you can see it starts with backyard and then I have tree uh, Maple and oak I have wood hard and soft and then I have grass so you can see it basically Makes an outline and that's what's important because when you export this you can export it as a text outline or an OPML outline which is pretty slick indeed and you can also search for something so if I wanted to find Tree you can see it filters it right to this tree really really uh, straightforward. Again, when you go back, uh, you'll see the one that I have that's backyard, and I can delete uh, any previous ones. I can also, um, whoops, I just created a new one, didn't want to do that. Let's go to the backyard here. I can also take this, and I can create a new uh, main node I can reorganize or mail. So that just means instead of backyard, I might have front yard, and so on and so forth. I can create a new one. But the really cool part is email. So it says, hey, how can I email this? Well, uh, MindNode has a free Mac app that allows you to look at and, and kind of manipulate and create basic drawings like this. There's a pro version that gives you a little bit more functionality, uh, one of which is syncing over Wi-Fi, just as an FYI. Also, another uh, format is called FreeMind. It's another mind mapping format. It's available. PNG for an image, text, and OPML. But if I did text, Notice, boom, it already lays it out in the email and gives me a text file. How easy was that? If I go ahead and choose OPML, it gives me backyard.opml. Uh, let's see, I can also choose MindNode document. It just shows as an attachment, nothing fancy. And if I did choose PNG, it gives you a nice image of it to go ahead and send around. Uh, kind of nice. Uh, so for the most part, uh, that's about it for the application. It is incredibly straightforward, incredibly simple, uh, but, but yet can really help you uh, brainstorm if you're looking for, for ideas. Uh, I think it's pretty slick. So again, this is uh, MindNode. It is for the iPad, but a universal binary, which is nice. So it's almost a twofer. You know, you buy it for one, you get it for iPad, get it for iPhone. It's uh, currently at a very inexpensive price. I recommend you check out the App Store. Again, this is MindNode for the iPad.